The topic of this video is consonant digraphs. A digraph is composed of two letters that represent a single sound. Four of the most common digraphs, and the ones we will cover today, are SH, CH, WH, and TH. I'm going to tell you a silly story that will help you to remember the sound made by each of these digraphs. The name of the story is Mr. H and his four girlfriends. Once upon a time in alphabet land, there was a letter H who had four girlfriends. His first girlfriend was Miss S. Miss S liked to read. So whenever Mr. H went out with her, they went to the library. Now everyone knows you have to be quiet in a library. So whenever S and H get together, the only sound you will hear is shh. Listen for the shh sound at the beginning of these words. She, shop, and share. Now Mr. H's second girlfriend was Miss C. He only dated her on rainy days because she just loved to walk barefoot in the rain. The only trouble was they caught a cold every time they walked in the rain. So whenever they got together, all you could hear was the sound of them sneezing. Listen for the ch sound at the beginning of chain, cheese, and church. Mr. H also had a third girlfriend. Her name was Miss W, and boy, did she like to talk. In fact, whenever they got together, she did almost all the talking. That's why you can only hear the w sound when they get together. Listen to the beginning sound in what, when, and why. Isn't it hard to tell that there's anything besides the W in the beginning sound? There was one time, however, when Mr. H got a chance to do all the talking, and that was at the beginning of the word who. But that's the only time he ever got a chance to say anything. And finally, there was Miss T. She isn't exactly his girlfriend anymore. She used to be his girlfriend until she found out about the other three girlfriends. That's when they had a big argument. Now, whenever T and H happen to meet, they just stick their tongues out at each other. Sometimes they do it quietly, like at the beginning of think or think. Thumb. This th sound is called the unvoiced th sound. But they're not always quiet about it. Sometimes they are very noisy when they stick out their tongues, as in the words this or that. The sound th is called a voiced th sound. Both the unvoiced and voiced TH sounds are made by sticking out your tongue and blowing out air. The only difference is whether or not you use your voice while you blow. This chart may help you to remember each sound these digraphs represent. I hope you found this helpful. The End